today is Tuesday, and that means it is Two Minute Tuesday. I would like to tackle a subject that comes across my desk quite frequently, uh, having to do with crossbreeding of Mangalitsa and other breeds of pigs. Okay, I've had experience with this, and I can, I can, I can give you my opinion on this, and it's just an opinion. But I think it will help people to understand what it is that they are actually doing. Okay? And I can do this in two minutes or less. Mr. Timekeeper, please. Okay, so purebreds. They look great. Uh, they're cuddly, and or they you'd think they're cuddly and all of that stuff. However, what our goal is in breeding Mangalitsa is to produce... Uh, top quality meat and fat. Our purebreds have the genetics to do that. When we come across a pig that looks classically Mangalitsa, we have a good feeling that those genetics are there. When we cross, let's say, a Mangalitsa boar with another breed, and it's up to you what you want to breed it with, and it, it might have to do with what you have. You know, we don't all, you know, there's not a, a pig store that you can go to and I'll say, I'll take one of those. Uh, let's say you have a large black. I've done that and I tried it and we got a very nice pig, very nice pig. And when we slaughtered that pig, we got a little bit longer carcass. We got the deep red meat and we got the snow white fat. We didn't get as much fat, but we got a pig that finished out a little bit quicker. So if that's what you want, then that would be a good choice. Is there some sort of, uh, you know, law against it? Or have you broken an unwritten fatwa? No, no. This is, this is the, the beauty of, of farming is there's a lot of different avenues that you can go and you may discover something really, really cool. So I would say that this is a great opportunity for you to experiment and see what you get. And if it's something that you like, continue to do it. So that's my opinion in two minutes or less. Mark from Baker's Green Acres. Remember, anyone can find. <laughs>